just start becoming aware on where the hinge is or where what's fixed and what's moving okay if we don't know where the point of stability is then that compromises our mobility out here and so it's very important when you're rotating and turning that you know where and what you're turning around so in the it's like a hinge and the hinge this particular hinge works in a circular fashion so that's what we're doing with our body and so you need to be aware where your axis is and it's not necessarily in the center it's going to be through your shoulder claw and your hip claw and alignment of the shoulder claw and the hip claw rotating around that and it's gen the general rule is whatever leg you're weight bearing on is the axis around which you're rotating okay so let's go ahead and do our warm-up and just be aware of that and when you shift where that axis is so let's go ahead then and sink our shoulders to raise the elbows sink the elbows to raise the wrist sink the wrist to raise the fingers and then let go oh as if you're just breathing out the last remnants of tension and pushing it deep into the earth and away from you. Sinking the shoulder blades, elbows, wrists, and fingers. And now as you let go of the heavy chi, let your spine lengthen as though you're suspended from the sky, from the crown of the head. And so therefore the weight of gravity as you let go actually helps to open the spine because you're still suspended. That's right. Now I would like for you to put your awareness in the space between your fingers. That's it, nice. And now the, the space underneath the palms of your hands and connect the energy now from one palm of the hand to the other. Sink the shoulders, rest your elbows as though they're resting in water in front of you. Connect the palms and put your awareness in the space between your arms and let that energy expand. Keep your hula hoop. Beautiful, nice JFK. Yeah, coming back, connecting that energy. Feel the Men Ming point expanding a little bit to the back wall as you open. And then from the Men Ming point, whew, out to the fingertips is the power. Beautiful, nice, Ruth. And one more, please. Can you let go of the weight into your feet? It's like you're really sitting in a chair, no effort. Yeah, beautiful. And then let it go. Sink those shoulder blades. Sink the elbows. Keep those shoulders down. So eventually you really start to feel that contrast of the heavy as well as the light. in your body. It's like your body has that yin yang symbol in it and so you're feeling the heaviness which is fairly easy for us to feel because of gravity but also feel the helium filling your body as well. That's the counterbalance. As though all the spaces in your body are opening and filling with lightness. And now let's hold a ball, a big ball, sinking your elbows down. And let's hold the ball by turning. And we're just gonna play a little bit with our ball of chi. Sink the top, turn, and just let the arm float because you're sinking the shoulders down. Connect the palms. Sink the shoulders, the elbows. Yeah, 
Make sure you're sending energy into the hands. So the hands are relaxed, but they're not flaccid and loose. Then turn, sink your elbows. Then just the whole arm is sinking down and staying in front. That's why I'm giving you a side view. Turn the floor with your feet. And connect the palms. Keep them connected, keep them connected, keep them connected. Keep going, please. Now, your weight's on the left, so we're turning on the left axis, and we open up, and then here, your weight shift is on the right. Not, not you know, it's like 70-30. Then as I turn, I'm turning around the right axis. Weight shift to the left, and open. Mmm, doesn't that feel nice? Around that axis, keeping both knees bent. Yeah. Right. Keep our shoulders level. Hey, that was beautiful. Nice. So right here as we turn, that momentum is what brings our arm underneath. It's not working independently. Body moving as whole. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice, Janet. Around. Connect the palms, turn the floor. So this is just like parting wild horse's mane. One more, please. Mm, that feels really good. Y'all are doing great. Okay, now let's just do a brush knee. So turn and switch the arms. Turn. Turn around your left axis, then it shifts to the right, and that last piece is on the right axis. Then it floats underneath. So shift on the, uh, turn around the right axis. Then that last part, you're now on the left axis, right there. And then the follow through gets you set up for the next one. Don't even think about the arms too much. It's just let them flow. In fact, you could imagine that this is some swimming stroke and we're in water and you keep flowing through it. You wouldn't stop. You have to keep flowing and moving the water or else you have to start all over again to get that momentum. So when we swim, we keep moving. And that's like Tai Chi, floating through it, flowing through it, rather. So we keep moving. Remember that the... All right, just, just sense where the axis is now. Left, right, Right. Now, that was good. Tons of energy, y'all. Good. Left. And coming back to the middle. And let's breathe in. <sighs> Terrific postures, y'all. Yeah, good. Now.